The overall goal of this procedure is to measure connectivity between brain regions based on changes in their distributed activity patterns over time. This is accomplished by first selecting a seed region. Next, multivoxel pattern discriminability is calculated for each time point for the seed region and each searchlight or region of interest. The final step is to correlate the discriminability time series of the seed region with each searchlight. Ultimately, informational connectivity is used to reveal connectivity between regions that have information contained across patterns of voxels. Well, the main advantage of this technique over others like functional connectivity is that it can detect connectivity using conditions that don't differ in a mean response, but do have a unique multivariate signature. Well, I first had the idea for this method after realizing that many connectivity techniques are ignoring information that's only held in multivoxel activity patterns, just as we now know that the univariate approaches are completely blind to information held in multivoxel activity patterns. To begin this procedure, remove the motion and mean white matter signals from the time series of pre-processed fMRI data by creating a regression model with predictors for motion parameters and mean white matter signal. Then, conduct the following analyses on the resulting residuals. Import the generated residuals into an analysis package, such as MATLAB or Python, using, for example, the Open Source Informational Connectivity MATLAB Toolbox. After that, transform each voxel's time series to z-scores. Separate the dataset's time points into independent sets.